Holograms. When people think of holograms, they imagine something like this. Looks familiar, doesn't it? In Star Wars, they use these holograms as communication devices, where the person receiving the transmission can see the caller and vice versa. This effect is also used in the movie Iron Man, where Tony Stark can be seen waving his hands through the air, interacting with his holographic computer system. But unfortunately, in reality, there is no such thing as a hologram that can be projected into thin air. In fact, these holograms, if they were real, would be merely projections. Instead, real holograms require the viewer to look through a piece of film. So what is a hologram, really? A hologram is a three-dimensional image formed by the interference of light beams from a laser or another coherent light source. A hologram is much like a photograph. The reason it seems 3D is because what gets exposed on the film is not simply light reflecting off the object, but rather an interference pattern between two beams reflecting off the object. How are holograms made? A beam of laser light is optically separated into two beams by a beam splitter. One, the reference beam, is directed toward a piece of holographic film travelling through a lens and is expanded so that the light covers the film evenly and completely. The second, object beam, is directed at the subject of the composition and similarly expanded to illuminate it. When the object beam reflects off the subject, it carries with it information about the location, size, shape and texture of the subject. Some of this reflected object beam then meets the reference beam at the holographic film, producing an interference pattern which is recorded in the light sensitive emulsion. The history of holography. The theory of holography was developed by Dr. Dennis Gaber in 1947. He was working on improving the resolution of an electron microscope when he thought of it. However, Gaber had come up with this theory before true coherent light sources had even been available. Until the laser was invented in 1960. The pure and intense light of a laser is an ideal light source for creating holograms. In 1962, holographers Emmett Leith and Juris Ipatniak read Gaber's reports and papers and discovered that holography could be used to create 3D images on a flat surface. They used Gaber's technique and the result was a holographic image of the subject a toy train and bird. That started it all. Holographic communication. This is where Star Wars has inspired the real world. Using holograms for communication is a great focus in holographic research. This form of communication is given the name holographic telepresence. What is telepresence? Telepresence refers to a set of technologies which allow a person to feel as if they were present, to give the appearance that they were present, or to have an effect at a location other than their true location. Thank you, Wikipedia. Therefore, holographic telepresence is using holography or holographic technology as the medium for a person to appear and feel present at a different location. There are a number of ways that holographic telepresence could be created. The image first needs to be captured by a system of cameras and then translated into a data stream. On the other end, the image can be reconstructed using computer technology and a screen made of photorefractive material. This material allows the image to refract light in the same manner as the source of the image, giving it a three-dimensional quality. It has crossed the minds of many. Is it possible to create a mid-air holographic projection? The answer, at this stage in holographic technology, is no. In order for you to see anything, photons must go into your eyeballs. To project a hologram into thin air and have people see it would require the photons to change direction in mid-air for no reason. As far as we know it, it's physically impossible. The dangers of holographic telepresence. Well, holograms are made with lasers. Lasers are dangerous. So equipment used for projecting holograms in the future must be safe enough so viewers don't burn out their eyeballs. <laughs> Another danger, but not a physical danger, could be the blurring between reality and virtual reality. For example, someone could be living in a holographic world that they believe is reality. And living in a virtual reality, you don't eat or really sleep. So you'll die.
so that could be pretty dangerous. But as long as holographic technologies are used correctly, there are no real dangers. But how can holographic telepresence affect our lives? Well, there are both positive and negative effects. POSITIVES! Holographic telepresence could be used as a new form of telecommunications. I can see it now! Imagine this. When receiving a call on your mobile phone, you also receive a small image, a hologram, of the person calling you. Holographic entertainment. This would apply to things such as movies, television, and gaming. You could be watching a movie at home or in the cinema and feel like you're actually in the movie, almost as if you're a character. This would be the same as if you're watching your favorite TV show, just sitting in your lounge room and you could feel like you're in the show. And gaming. This is when things could get really fun. Whether you'd be playing your favorite adventure game, a first person shooter, or the next Dance Dance Revolution game, you will actually be part of the game. This would be a new chapter of interactive gaming. The Nintendo Wii or the Xbox 360's Kinect could be pushed aside for this new technology. This new form of entertainment would create a new perspective for viewers and gamers alike, as you would be practically living whatever you're watching or playing. This holographic technology could become immediately popular for applications such as these. But it doesn't stop there. What about adult entertainment? We won't go there. Save that for a later time slot, eh? Another effective use for holographic telepresence would be long distance conferencing. This would allow you to communicate with other colleagues from all over the world. This would help save money and the environment by not using forms of transport. This technology could also be used for military purposes. They could create holographic maps that are interactive to gain further understanding of terrain and warfare locations. Holographic simulations could be used to help train soldiers and pilots in real life situations. Again, similar technology could be used for medical purposes. Imagine a 3D holographic image of the human anatomy. This could help surgeons during surgery or a doctor simply explaining an infection to a patient. And let's face it, having holograms around your house would be pretty cool. But what about the negatives? They'll be expensive! Like the newest gadgets of today, they will be an expensive addition to your household. Don't expect them to be cheap. The negative effects on social society. Social societies could become lifeless as there would be less face-to-face -face interaction between people. As a result of not having to go all the way around the world for a conference could limit your experience of going to different places. Boring. And finally, there would be advertisements everywhere! That's right, companies would take advantage of these holograms and put them up everywhere. Down the street. As you exit your house. Holograms in your mailbox. Holograms in your sleep. But I suppose this couldn't be all a bad thing. Holograms would be a great way for companies to advertise their products, just as long as they don't overuse them. But it's something that appears in 3D space and that really gets in your face and says, hey, I'm here. Holographic technology really has endless applications. Well, as far as the human mind can imagine, that is. These technologies, as futuristic as they may seem, are very much on the way in production. But it isn't all fun and games. These technologies could be used in applications that will very much help our civilization. From entertainment to data visualization, there is a bright future for holograms and holographic projection.